Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Christine, the Early Literacy Librarian of the New Orleans Public Library, and I want to welcome you to story time today. We have a really big word to spell together because we have a very big special holiday that we are celebrating this week, which is Thanksgiving. So let's try spelling the word together. T-H-A-N-K-S-G-I-V-I-N-G. G, whoo, spells Thanksgiving. Now this is a really special time of the year that we get to talk about and share with each other all the things that we are thankful for. So I will share with you that I'm really thankful that we get to spend this time together during story time where we read books together and sing songs and um, learn and have fun together. I'm also very appreciative of the publishing companies Simon & Schuster and Macmillan um, for giving me permission to read the books that I brought with me today. And I'm also very personally grateful um, that I get to spend Thanksgiving, which is also my birthday this year, with my little family of four. So if there is something you are particularly thankful for, you can shout it out right now or you can whisper it to your grown up who is watching with us. Thank you. So let's get started with our first book. And it is titled Bear Says Thanks and it's by Karma Wilson and the pictures are by Jane Chapman. And grown ups, this book is considered a predictable book and these are really good to read with your children because it um, motivates them to actively participate in the telling of this story because there is a repeating pattern of language within the story, um, which helps the children to kind of quickly catch on to what is written on the pages and they can um, read along with you. So the repeating phrase in this book is, Bear says thanks, and I would like for the kids to read along with me, and your word, I'm going to point to it when you see it on the page, is thanks. T-H-A-N-K-S. So every time you see it on the page and I point to it, that's your part in the story. Bear says thanks. That was a little practice. All alone in his cave, Bear listens to the wind. He is bored, 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 and he misses his friends. Can you see his sad face? I could make a big dinner, a feast I could share. But he looks through his cupboard, and the cupboard is bare. It's empty. There's nothing in there. Then Mouse stops by with a huckleberry pie, and the bear says, thanks. Bear says, goodness me, a delectable pie. But I have made nothing, he adds with a sigh. Then they hear, hi ho, and they both see hair, there's hair, with a big batch of muffins at the door of the lair. Can you see the muffins in the basket? Hare hurries in from the cold rushing wind, and the bear says, thanks. Very good. Of course, says Hare, then he points to the door. Here comes Badger, he's got even more. What is Badger going to bring? 
fish. That's right. Burr, says Badger as he tromps inside. He sets down his pole and he smiles real wide. I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole. And the bear says, thanks. Then gopher and mole tunnel up from the ground. We have warm honey nuts. Let's pass them around. There's a flap and a flitter and a flurry in the den when in flutters owl with raven and wren. We have pears from the tree and herbs to brew tea. They're bringing so much more to the feast. And the bear says, wait. Bear mutters and he stutters and he wears a big frown. Bear sighs and he moans, oh, and he plops himself down. You have brought yummy treats, you are so nice to share, but me, I have nothing. My cupboards are bare. Mouse squeaks, don't fret, there's enough, dear bear. You don't need any food, you have stories to share. His friends hug him tight, it will be all right. And the bear says, thanks. They lay out their feast on a quilt on the ground and the bear takes a seat while his friends gather round. In a cave in the woods in a warm, bright lair, the friends feel grateful for their good friend, Bear. They pass around platters, they tweet and they chatter. And they all say thanks. The end. All right, let's do our first song, or next song actually, and it is to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It, and it just says If You're Thankful and You Know It. So just jump right in when you are ready. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, tap your legs. If you're thankful and you know it, tap your legs. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're thankful and you know it, tap your legs. If you're thankful and you know it, shout I am, I am. If you're thankful and you know it, shout I am, I am. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're thankful and you know it, shout I am, I am. Thank you for singing and joining in with me. All right, are we ready for our next book? I am. Now I'm gonna get a little bit closer because this is a little board book that we have at the library and we have many more board books for the little ones to check out so they can hold the books in their hands. And this is titled, Be Thankful, Pout Pout Fish. And it's by Deborah Deason, and the pictures are based on illustrations created by Dan Hanna. So let's get started. Mr. Fish's friends and family from afar and from next door. See all his little sea creature friends? Are together at the table and of course, there's room for more. Maybe there's room for me and you. They've all brought tasty dishes, which they're passing and they're sharing. What do you see on the table? I see a turkey, a pumpkin, carrot sticks, yummy veggies, 
peas, mashed potatoes, all kinds of good things to eat. The flavor of Thanksgiving is their gratitude and caring. Mr. Fish enjoys the bounty, but the very best but the very best part, what do you think it is? It's the happiness of feeling full of thankful in his heart. He's so thankful for all his friends joining him their Thanksgiving dinner. The end. Now, I don't know about you, but at my family's Thanksgiving dinner, we like to eat a big old fat, fat turkey. But that's just my family. You can eat whatever you want at your own family Thanksgiving dinner. But with that in mind, I'm going to tell a quick little story about five little turkeys that you can join in with me. The, the little turkeys like to wobble, wobble, wobble along. So let's count on our fingers the number of five. One, two, three, four, five. Five little turkeys standing by the door. One wobbled away, wobble, 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 wobble. And then there were four. Four little turkeys sitting near a tree. One wobbled away, wobble, 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 and then there were three. Three little turkeys with nothing to do. One wobbled away, wobble, 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 and then there were two. Two little turkeys in the morning sun. One wobbled away, wobble, 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 and then there was one. One little turkey better run away, for soon it will be Thanksgiving Day. Gobble, gobble, gobble. The end. That was it. <laughs> well, that is the end of our story time. If you enjoyed these stories about being thankful and grateful, or you want to learn more stories or hear more stories about Thanksgiving, you can visit nolalibrary.org and check out Tumble Books. And um, we hope to see you at the library really soon. You can make an appointment to come in um, and just call, make an appointment and come in for about 45 minutes and search our shelves for the best book that you can find. Okay, so we are going to sing our goodbye song, which is just like our hello song, except you say goodbye. Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving.